Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at an example of finding the coordinates of a point on a divided line segment by a specified ratio. Question reads, point P divides the directed line segment from point A, negative 4, negative 1, to point B, 6, 4, in the ratio 2 to 3. The coordinates of point P are... So to get us started, let's go ahead and review the formula that's going to guide our problem solving process. All right. So it's very important for you to recall this important formula. So let's say you have a point. All right. We're going to use P because P is what we're going to be looking for. All right. So let's say if point P with coordinates X sub P and Y sub P divides a line segment let's say the line segment um, AB from A coordinates X1, Y1 to B with coordinates X2, Y2 in the ratio A to B then now this is what we need what are the coordinates of X of P and Y sub P X of P is going to be the X coordinates of the initial point X1 plus A over A plus B okay times X2 minus X1 all right, and then the y coordinate y sub p is going to be y sub 1, y coordinate of the initial point a plus a over a plus b times y2 minus y1. All right, so all we're doing here is just calculating what the vertical and horizontal displacements are from the first point using the ratio. And splitting the distance using that ratio and then adding that measure to the original point and that's what will give you your desired coordinates okay all right so let's give ourselves a visual as to what we're talking about here okay so let's say this is the directed line segment, just a random segment okay from a a is x1 y1 to b Point B is X2, Y2. So what's happening is this line segment is divided in the ratio A to B. Okay. So let's say this right here is the point P that divides the line segment. And then from here to here, from A to P is A. And then from P to B is B. So basically, the coordinates of point P is X of P and Y sub P. All right. So if you want to figure out what the X coordinate of this point P is, you're going to use this formula right here, the X of P part. And then if you want to find the Y coordinate, you use this piece right here. Okay. And then we put them together, you get what your final answer is. All right, so let's go ahead and apply this formula to this particular problem. All righty, so the point X1, Y1, which is basically point A, X1, uh, Y1 is uh, point A, which is negative 4, negative 1. And then X2, Y2 is point B, which is 6, 4. All right, and then what we're looking for is X of P, Y sub P, that point that divides segment A, B in the ratio 2 to 3. So we don't know what that is. And we know that the ratio A to B is 2 to 3. Okay, so using this information, we know that X1 is negative 4, 
x2 is 6, a is 2, y sub 1 is negative 1, y2 is 4, and b is 3. Perfect. So we have everything that we need to plug into this formula. All right. So let's start with the x coordinate of point P. So x of P is going to be x1, which is negative 4 plus a, which is 2 over a plus b, 2 plus 3, multiplied by x of 2, um, 6 minus x of 1, negative 4. Okay, so we're taking the run and splitting it using that ratio and then adding it to the x coordinate. All right, that will take us to x of p. So I'll, I'll just have to just simplify this using the order of operations. Please excuse my Deon Sally, right? So negative 4 plus, and then we have 2 over 5. If you simplify this parenthesis, slash and dash plus 6 plus 4 is 10. Okay. Simplify further, negative 4, 5 goes into 10 twice, 2 times 2 is 4, so that will be plus 4, okay? So 5 goes here 1, 5 goes here 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 4 plus 4 will give us the x-coordinate of point P, which is 0. Alrighty, so y-coordinate of point P, same procedure, but we're going to use the y1, y2, and um, a and b. So y1 is negative 1 plus a over a plus b, we already know it's 2 over 5, so we can just copy that. It's the same ratio that we're using for x of p. And then times y2 minus y1. All right? And then simplifying that, negative 1 plus 2 over 5. Uh, negative 4, I mean 4 minus negative 1 is, is slash and dash, right? So it's just going to be 4 plus 1. What is 4 plus 1? That's going to be 5. All right, 2 over 5 times 5. All right, so you see you're splitting the rise. The rise is 5, right? Using that ratio 2 to 5, if you split the rise of 5 and the ratio 2 to 5, that's going to give you 2, and just add it to the y coordinate, right? So you're going to have negative 1 plus 2, because these ones divide out to unity, right? Negative 1 plus 2 is just 1. All right, so that point P, so the coordinates of P are going to be um, 0, 1. The answer to this question is option number 3. Oh, sorry, option number option number 2 is the answer, 0, 1. I switched it around. All right, so there you have it. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to help support our channel. Tons of support resources can be found at mathgodserve.com. Do check it out. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any geometry concepts in general, specify it in the comment section below. We'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.